Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Project. In this module, we're going to look at how to send project data into an Excel file using the wizard. In a previous video, I showed you how to use copy and paste, paste special, but this one we're going to use the wizard. So first of all, file, save as, select location, you need to select Excel workbook, the location is going to be the desktop, and then save. That will start the wizard, and then I just go through the wizard, selecting the options I require. So in this example, I'm going to leave it on selected data. Next, I am going to create a new map, but thereafter I will use an existing map. Next. These tick boxes at the top basically would create a separate sheet in Excel for each of these. I just want to do it on tasks, so I'm leaving the tick on tasks and then selecting next. Now I can manually map fields across here from project to Excel, or I can use this option, which is the one I am going to use based on a table, and I want to do this on the cost table. So click OK, and then the cost table goes into this box, which is great. Follow it through next, save this map, I'll call this Steve3. Save and then finish. So that should have created an Excel file on my desktop, software implementation. Just open that. And then these numbers are not formatted, so quickly format these to number so that I can make those into pounds. And then what I like to do is this. Highlight this data, because this process that I've just done you could run that on a weekly basis or whatever time period you like. So I'm going to copy this and create a new file and use the paste special feature to link it into this second file, paste link. The data comes in, make it into pounds, and then maybe do a small graph, project totals at the bottom, add up each column, and then just use the use those figures for my for my graph. So if I highlight the labels across the top, hold my control key down and highlight the labels the, the figures across the bottom and do a quick column graph. Move the graph over to the right, click on the label and link it to a cell equals project totals tick. And then on the graph itself, I like to format my graphs so they show it in black. There you go. Now if I save this file as update on the desktop, save that, and then let's go that figure there, 200 pounds, close, control W, and close this one, save it, and then do the whole process again. But this time, if I add some extra resources, so there's, there should be another cost there. Now, if I flick this over to the cost table, which is the one we're using, you've got an extra 200 pound there. Now, when I, when I run this wizard again, I just need to select the table that we saved. Excel workbook desktop, I want to overwrite that one, yes, and then follow the wizard through, but this time use existing map, next, Steve 3, finish. Now that should have gone across for open software implementation, there's the extra £200, Highlight that, change the numbers back to pounds, like so. And then if I open the update file, that is already updated and you can see the graph and everything is already there. So if I close both of those two down, yep, back to project. 
what you can now do is, is save a macro or record a macro to do that process for you. So to create a macro, first off I'll just change this back so this £200 disappears from there. You create a macro of yourself doing that process. So record macro, I'll call it um, output and then OK. Now it's recording what I do so I'll just go file Save as again, browse, select Excel workbook, put it onto my desktop, click on that file, save. Yes, I do want to replace that. Follow the wizard through. Existing map, Steve 3, finish. Stop the macro. So that is just recorded you doing those steps. What you now do is you add a button on the quick access toolbar, more commands, macros, output, take it across, give it a symbol if you so wish. So I'll give it a clock. OK. OK. So now what you should be able to do is click. Replace the file, yeah, and then go down and open up software implementation. Format it. You can see it's updated, it's took the 200 off, put that to pounds. And if I open update, update is updated. like so. Now if I close all these down, Control W, Control W, yeah, and go back into project and add that back in, if I can select it. All I need to do now is click the button, say OK, Job done. Minimize that. Open up software implementation. There's the extra £200. Just change that back to number. And then open up update. And that should have picked it up. And it has picked it up. £200. So that is the end of this module. Thank you for your time. That was updating using the wizard.